Hello, friends. It's me, Kit. When I'm not out fighting crime, I like to follow my friends at nightriderhistorians.com. Check it out. Hi, everyone. Um, back here with another video for you guys. Um, there's been a great response to the last couple videos that um, we've posted about the scanners and the insert dash and whatnot. So thank you so much for checking those out. Thank you for your likes and your shares and your comments. Uh, super appreciated. Um, today, uh, we're going to talk about another original prop or props that um, we have. But before that, I wanted to give you just a quick update on the insert dash and what we're doing. So we decided to focus the start of our restoration on the voice box itself. Um, thanks to the comments on that insert dash video and some private messages, some emails, um, I think we have a pretty good grasp on the exact circuit that they used back in the day. And we've ordered all the parts. They should be here this coming week. Uh, so our plan is to get the voice box working again. And then um, once we do that, we'll shoot a video and share it with all of you. Um, but today I wanted to talk about a prop that's probably more um, important to the show than the insert dash maybe a prop that's more important than Kit himself. And of course, <clears throat> I'm talking about David Hasselhoff's red turtleneck. Nah, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> eh. What I'm actually talking about is the steering wheel. Now, um, Obviously, it's not more important than the insert dash or the, uh, the actual car itself. I was just um, playing a little joke there. But um, we have four original steering wheels in our collection. And I thought, um, why not share that with you guys? Take a look at them and see kind of what the differences are, the condition that they're in, how they were made and whatnot. So hope you enjoy it. So to start out, let's take a look at the original steering wheel actually in one of our original cars. So this wheel has been untouched since it came from the studio. Um, so you can see it's got a little bit of cosmetic damage um, here and there. This wheel is modeled after a season three, four wheel. You can see the uh, indents on the side, although it does not have cutouts for the green LEDs that you see in that season. This wheel is currently painted high gloss black because it was um, a screen used wheel, but then once again, just like the insert dash and a number of other things, this wheel was later put into use on the theme park display. And at that point they painted it high gloss black, just like the dash. So um, you can see here in the middle, we've got a little bit of, uh, basically a paint chip came off and someone had uh, then painted behind it. And we can see, um, we have a couple pictures of this wheel when it was on display and you can see that this chip was missing. So this has been a defect for decades in this wheel. The uh, emblem here is not original. When we got the car, there was no emblem here. So this is a reproduction one that we uh, placed in. Take another closer look and see some damage here down at the bottom, which is to be expected whenever you have so many people getting in and out of the car when it was uh, on display at the theme park. So now let's take a look at the underside. So on the underside, it looks fairly plain, except you can see it's got this access door in the middle. So this wheel is hollow and inside of that door, uh, is how you access the nut to put it on the steering column. But they also filled, once they, you know, they attached it to the car, they took pieces of foam, and you can see the foam kind of peeking out there, took pieces of foam and filled the, the cavity with foam. I don't know, just to make it feel a little bit more denser, but um, then they have that little door that just is held on by two screws. Here's our second original wheel. This one is completely untouched from when it was being used on the series. It's got its original paint. It even has the original red paint um, in the emblem. That is an original emblem. 
Again, 100% untouched. There is an access door here, as opposed to the last one we saw that's on our, our screen used car that had the access door in the bottom. This one, they cut the access door in the front. So obviously this wasn't a wheel that was meant to be seen um, up close. So let's take a little bit of a look. You can see the paint does have quite a bit of wear on it. Take a closer look at that emblem. So you can see the emblem's got some nicks and some scratches and some other things. And the paint obviously has seen better days. Many scratches, many miniature bubbles, things like that. But All right, let's take a look at the back. All right, here's the back and the underside. So much like the replica wheels that are made today, it's got a steel column in the middle that's integrated into the into the wheel itself. Um, totally flush bottom, no access door there. Uh, one thing, if we look at it here, you can see that this is a season two wheel. There are no, I guess I'm on the wrong side. There are no indents over here. Obviously no green lights. Season two wheel. So let's take a look here and see what's behind that access door. All right, let's go ahead and get this. There's only one screw, which we believe to be an original screw. Let's get it out of here. Oh. So there's the door, just a piece of fiberglass. It's, well, obviously they just cut that out. Um, they do, did glass in some flanges here. And actually, if you look, these are the um, screws that hold on the flange here. And you can just barely make them out here as well. So over time, those have, have come through quite a bit. But uh, again, this wheel is also hollow. Nothing of uh, great excitement inside of there. Let's see if I can get you a better look. Yeah, there we go. So you can just see that hub has been glassed in. Not much to it. Season two screen used original wheel. So finally, we've got one of our original tour car wheels. So this is based on Michael Chaffee's original wheel sculpture that he did. Um, so we believe that um, all of the tour car wheels were um, cast from the mold made from Michael Chaffee's original wheel. Uh, this one, as you can see, it's high gloss black, much like, again, all of the tour cars were. The, um, the night head is uh, integrated into the fiberglass. It's not an acrylic uh, stick on or anything like we saw in the season two nose a few minutes ago. Um, this one has a hole cut in the center to um, mount, to get to the nut to mount to the uh, factory Trans Am steering column. And the rest of the wheel is fairly hollow. It feels like um, all of this over here is solid, but the center is, is pretty hollow. So let's take a look here around the back. This one um, is very interesting because as you know, most of the Knight Rider wheels require an adapter to fit under the Trans Am wheel, but not this one. What they did was they actually custom built this adapter that bolted onto the back of the wheel. And um, this piece, I think, is from a factory Trans Am and it slides. It's from a factory Trans Am steering wheel, this whole piece. And it just slides right on the steering column. So no adapter needed. Give you a better look at that. So just to, to give you guys a comparison, let's bring our uh, season two wheel back in. And I don't know if you can tell how much smaller these grips are versus those grips and just how much bigger that original wheel is, the, the wheel in the back versus the season two wheel. Um, when you hold it in your hands, it feels heftier. It's bigger, it's heavier, it's thicker. And um, you can almost see why they would have changed to the lighter, smaller, season two style wheel. 
So there we go. There's our season two wheel. There's our um, tour car wheel that was based off of, um, or not based off of, cast from Michael Chaffee's original pilot wheel. So our fourth screen used wheel is in our other screen used kit, and it's a season three, four steering wheel and it even has the indents for where the green lights would go it's got the the uh, indents on the side of the grips uh, this wheel actually originated from the right hand blind drive car that they used for the third and fourth season so when the show ended um, the the surviving kit cars a lot of the parts from those surviving kit cars kind of got mishmashed whenever they were being uh, retrofitted for tour use and in that uh, part swapping, uh, our other screen used car actually got the steering wheel from the right hand blind drive car. So it's been, uh, it's been painted and restored uh, a little bit, but otherwise it is completely all original. It's just like the other wheels, it is hollow. And um, that's our fourth screen used wheel. Thanks for watching our video. Um, if you like this type of content and want to see more, please uh, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. Please share this video. Um, everything you do uh, certainly helps us and uh, we greatly appreciate it. Thanks.